Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell and today we're talking about the Kershaw Natrix Model 7007. Alright guys, so it's finally here. The budget model of the 2013, I believe it was, release, 777. And it's a pretty faithful rendition in budget clothing. Uh, I'll throw a picture up here of the 777. And as you can see, getting a look at it, I uh, will roll the picture back out. They are very, very much in line with each other as far as look. Of course, the materials are different, and that's okay. They're also, it is also very similar to the 0770. That's a favorite of many. Now, one thing I am gonna point out here is we do have a bit of a blade difference. Uh, the 0770, the blade edge shape is a bit different. Not a huge amount different, but definitely enough to notice. We'll get them both up here so you can see those, the sweep of that blade and how it is just a little bit different. And I'm a big fan of the 0770 blade. It does hold you in to soft materials a little longer and makes for a pretty darn good EDC knife. So, let's get on with the 7007 Natrix. To start with, let's get a look at our materials. And we are uh, G10 handle scales. We have an oversized pivot. Looks very much like the 0777 pivot or the 0770 pivot. It's just thinner and less material, but still very attractive. Rolled around to the back side. And we have a nylon spacer, and we can see the mold marks there. That's not so great. But remember, we're only given $35 for this knife. And there's our flipper tab, and it's got a little bit of jimping on it. And it's not that eat-your-finger jimping, so it's, it's all good. Roll it around the other side, and we have our subframe lock. And a new pocket clip for Kershaw, which we'll get into here in a few minutes. And we have the back side of our pivot has been... Uh, it's a hex, so it sets down in the scale and locks itself in place. You guys know I like that. It's very nice. So, measurements. We have a closed length of 4.33 inches, a handle thickness of 0.44, and a closed height of 1.47. And that brings us in with a weight of 2.87 ounces. Yeah, you heard me right. We have a blade length and this is another one where the handle makes the blade length a little bit skewed. We're just going to call it three and a quarter inches. And we're under three ounces for what I would consider a full-size knife handle. Pretty impressive. And as we go along, we'll see how they get there. For now, let's do a little bit of size comparison. As always, we have a Ontario Rat. A Buck 110. And we'll float our Delica in here. And yeah, it's not a lot bigger than the Delica. It only weighs a few tenths of an ounce more. So that's pretty interesting. Of course, it's much smaller and lighter than the other two. Now, one more that we will bring back out here is the 0770. And we have a slight bit more blade on the 0770. And I don't remember the weight. The 0770 is still pretty much a lightweight, but it's an all aluminum handle with an inset liner lock instead of the subframe lock. And then since we got it open, let's get a look at this blade. Now, we're still 8CR13 MOV, stand, Hershaw's standard Chinese steel, but we're fully fl fullered, flat ground, and we've got that classic 0777 blade shape with the classic fuller. Got a little bit of jimping up here, and uh, it makes for a very attractive blade. Now, is it sharp? That's something we should always be looking at, especially since Kershaw has upped their game some. Here we have some of this paper, and 
that is out of the box sharpness and it's you know it's pretty good guys is it great well you know we can always refine an edge and make it better if it came from the factory most of the time but for a stock edge it is pretty impressive and getting back up here let's get a look around this thing we're nice and cleanly done right here where those fullers end on either side comes out very nice a lot of times that can get ooh, just a thousandth there makes a huge difference but they've pulled it off nice and clean and we're stonewashed with that stone washing with the nice smooth finish that Kershaw does uh, which is beautiful I like to see that on a lot of knives the uh, oh the southern Gride spider monkey has a similar finish spider co uses a similar finish on the uh, techno so a very good looking finish and they didn't make a huge billboard out of it overall very nice job and from here we'll go to our pause and read card and I'll be right back with you all right mechanically we are speed safe and what that means is we've got a couple of little phosphor bronze washers down in there and they are fairly little but we have that torsion bar that holds the knife closed. Right now, it's holding the knife closed. Whenever we get over its pivot point, it flicks the knife out. And uh, just like with all speed safe knives, it works pretty darn well. Now, bonus here, we are centered as far as the blade goes. And we've got a pretty darn smooth action for a speed safe knife. Uh, I, whenever I pulled this thing out of the box, I was rather impressed all the way around. I figured we were going to get another Chinese Kershaw, even though we've had some of the 2017 models in here, and they have been better. I just, you know, after last year and the year before's experience, I've just uh, come to expect junk. And it isn't. Everything here is done well and appropriate for the price level. And uh, mechanically, it's pretty sound. Let's throw this guy in the pocket and see what we get there. And down in the pocket, we have that nice deep carry pocket clip that all of the 777, 0770, you know, I, I believe the 777 had one, but definitely the 0770 and now the 7007. And wow, that is just beautiful. The only thing I've seen here is they brought this down to kind of, it's a rounded point, but it flips up pretty hard. Uh, that may rub against things. I haven't had enough time with this thing in the pocket to really tell you about that. But overall, very nice. One thing we missed whenever we were talking about mechanicals is our lock system. And this is what they call a subframe lock. And we'll leave the camera zoomed in there. And what it is is kind of a frame lock, kind of a liner lock. This piece of steel works as an over travel stop you can see it right down there that's your over travel stop right in there and it is the lock mechanism itself of course and it gets it's milled out thinner in the back and if you yep see that little edge right there that is screwed in to the back spacer and under the clip there are three little screws. Yep, there we go. We can see them right there that help hold that thing in place as well as the pocket clip screws. And I do believe you can pull the pocket clip out and flip it around to the other side and you'll be fine. But those three screws down there hold that thing in place, making it what Kershaw calls a subframe lock, which is pretty slick, lets things get light. And I, if I didn't mention it already, we're really light. 2.87 ounces. Yeah, I already said it, didn't I? But I was really, really impressed by that. And now let's move along to ergonomics. Ergonomically, we have a lot like the 0770. And that was one of the things that really, really got me about the 0770. The way the handle is cut right here and the blade is shaped right here 
lets you get a hold of the knife and your thumb drops right there on that little bit of jimping. It's not terribly rough, but it's enough to work well. And the rest of the knife, your hand just falls into it. It falls into it quite well. This little swell right here doesn't seem to cause any problems. And it's like we've talked about many, many times, simplicity in handle design equals a win. And that's what they've done here. And it is a great ergonomic handle. Doesn't matter really how you get a hold of it. You can do just about anything you want to or need to with this knife. And it's not going to get out of sorts in your hand. It's going to index well. It's going to lock your hand in no matter how you want to hold it. And surprisingly, the clip doesn't seem to be a hot spot. So, well done there to Kershaw. Of course, they had the 777 and the 0770 to work that out before they got to this one. But a lot of times, whenever we get to the budget model, of course, we see the things like ergonomics and the such drop away. But not so in this case. They have stayed true to the original and stayed true to the 0770 and kept those really good ergonomics. Now, is there anything that I just seriously do not like about this knife? Uh, yeah. What really bugs me about this knife is that it is the budget model. And I understand there's a lot of you out there that are going to be all over this thing loving the fact that you can get uh, basically a 777 design for $35. And that is a beautiful thing. But they have done such a good job here that I really wish that this same knife with slightly nicer materials was available in a ZT model or an upper end Kershaw model. Uh, it would just, you know, some better blade steel, some slightly different G10 because this is obviously lower end G10. It does not have the rigidity of even the Almar knives that Kershaw uh, has. It's, I mean, it doesn't mean it's bad. There doesn't seem to be much flex in the knife at all, and everything works well. And the texture is nice to keep hold of the knife, but I would just like to see it in some slightly, eh, slightly fancier dress. A little bit better blade material. Keep that clip. That's a very nice clip. And that's my biggest complaint, is they finally gave us a 777, and it's running... 8CR13 MOV, which is a great thing for getting it out to the masses, but there are a lot of us out there that would like to have this knife dressed up to upper level Kershaw or ZT, getting these handles in carbon fiber, which we can machine now, or uh, even a better quality G10 would be wonderful. And that's my big complaint. Other than that, for $35, you're getting one heck of a good knife. The only problems I see with the knife are the edge termination, of course. That's a Kershaw thing. You look Looks like they'd figure that out, but they never will. And other than that, just no complaints. Beautiful knife. The subframe lock works well. Lock up on this particular one is a little late, but with a budget knife, you don't really... If it locks up good and solid, you, you can't complain much. And... Whenever the knife is centered, just not a whole lot to complain about. Anyhow, guys, this has been our first look at the Kershaw Natrix. Get a look at those details in that handle. And that blade, we'll run it back the other way. See that subframe lock? All those details. Kershaw has knocked it out of the park for $35, friends and neighbors. And you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time.